Okay, this is a video about the universe and how it works. The function of this quantum, these small little particles in the universe. We believe that the universe is materialistic, okay? That, but energy is not quite a material thing, like wave and particle the duality problem, okay? So we'll work on this. All right, anyway, enough of that shit. Um, <laughs> yeah, so if you're uh, interested in the subject of a quantum and the two-slit experiment, uh, yeah, well, you know, I just want to provoke a conversation. Um, because it seems like, I know we're not going to solve it here, probably. Who knows? What, whatever. It's worth talking about. Um, but, you know, the phantasmagoricals are going to cling to this, this little stupid bullshit and, and, and make it an excuse for, you know... Um, magic and and it's not magic there's an explanation for the experimental results and um so anyway i was thinking through it i'll, I'll, I'll post a link to a darwin's hamster video uh that does a relatively good job of explaining the problem um <laughs> uh so you know it's it's simple but it's complex all right so basically look this is the simple explanation all right <clears throat> so they fire these what we think were particles electrons or photons Fire them at a slit, you know, a little cutout, and uh, when it's a single slit, they act like a particle. They go right through the slit. They don't create a whole bunch of fuzziness. They just do what they're supposed to do, right, right through. Um, okay, then you put two slits there. All of a sudden, everything goes to hell, and uh, you get this pattern of waves and the interference between the waves, the lows and the highs. Um, so then people are speculating that uh, the particles are waves, or that you know light is a wave not a particle and we go through all this stuff back and forth um and in thinking about it i mean the the, the dynamics get a little complicated because what we understand about waves we understand through a medium uh, like you know a, like water or some other some other um compound and th that dynamic is not really a um the movement of actual particles it's the transfer of energy that's what's happening through a wave is that energy is getting transferred there is not there is not matter being transferred matter isn't moving from point a to point b the energy or or or, or a position of the matter is changing the disposition of matter is changing maybe that's the better word to put um, but actual matter is not moving ex except incidentally um, but not um, not as a part of the actual force of the transfer or the whatever you want to call it all right so when you think about stuff like radio waves um i mean it seems kind of obvious that it's probably it's not particles that are moving i mean it's not like the the, the radio tower creates a bunch of particles and those particles travel and go all through space and all this kind of stuff it, it seems more likely that they're creating a disturbance in some medium, some underlying medium. And, um, you know, part of me is irritated with this conversation because it's like I'm kind of trying to figure out, well, why Einstein didn't just make the point that, well, look, if if big space is kind of acting like a, a, a medium, as if it has a fabric, um, then why wouldn't we expect the same from this small space, you know, these these you know the ultimate space the the bottom line fabric whatever how far you want to go down um you know and this gets into the kind of thing of like you know the smallest of the small and all right so anyway in this two slit experiment the, the problem is is that okay when they do the double slit thing uh, you do get this weird pattern but the problem is is then they put these detectors on the slits to figure out which which slit the particle went through and you know and then there's this whole new bogus kind of bullshit where ah it seems very strange that when the detectors are on the the particles act like particles again and then when the detectors are off it's back to the wave thing but you know there's this catch that if uh, they turn the detectors on but don't read the results of the detectors which i really don't understand how you have them on but don't read the results <clears throat> that doesn't really make any sense um, or not acknowledge the results or whatever, um, you, you know, then you're, you're, it's like, it's like the, the particles are trying to fool us or something. And, um, 
it, you know, it's it's the, it's back to the wave thing. So w whatever, th th that part of it just seems so bogus. And this the whole idea of, I mean, how exactly do you do you um, see or acknowledge which which um, slit a particle went through when you're talking about the smallest particles on Earth? You can't. It's it's like the um, the idea of the smallest of the small. Well, the problem is there's a point where you don't have a knife thin enough to cut the smallest of the small. Your knife is going to be as big as the thing you're trying to cut, and so it ain't going to work. And we're, I think we're sort of at that point, and you detecting particles that are that small. I mean, the only way you, de you can detect their conclusion, you can detect them when they crash into something and you destroy the particle, but short of that, it's pretty hard to detect them without, you know, in a major way, influencing them. Um, so that's a, to me a really flawed part of this. But there, look, there's something in the experiment itself that will explain what's going on. There's a way to explain this circumstance without resorting to some kind of nonsense that, <clears throat> you know, when a particle's heading for a single slit, it just stays a particle. And when it, there's two slits, somehow the particle says, oh, there's two slits, I will split in half and go through both slits and then interfere with myself to create a wave pattern. I mean, that seems like the the silliest of explanations. I mean, the explanation is somewhere in the experiment, and so I'd like to have that conversation. Um, so, what uh, one piece of speculation that popped into my head was if what if in this experiment the the problem is is that as each particle goes through individually these slits to come up with this end result. <clears throat> What if um, particles leave a vapor trail? What if they leave behind a ripple in space, a change in the underlying fabric of space, and that the next particle will interfere, will be interfered with by that, um, you know, that, that crosses that path, will be interfered by that, that vapor trail, that that remnants of the previous particles path or it's it's changed to the space because there's a way of looking at this is like let's say there is an underlying fabric to space a little little segments um, that can be compressed and expanded and and you know you could transfer energy by just transferring expansion through those particles or you could just push all the particles in a direction I mean, that's sort of what we're saying here, is, is this could work two different ways. I mean, you can transfer the vibration through the fabric, or you can push the fabric. You could actually move the material, or you could, um, uh, uh, you know, displace the material, or you can create a vibration in the material. And I'm sort of thinking that the explanation of this experiment is somewhere in in that, in some, some recognizing the medium through which the particles are traveling rather than, um, you know, f well, I'm not just saying that's one way of looking at it. I mean, one way to find an explanation because there has to be some, um, uh, there, there's an explanation. And I'm just saying that there, it seems quite unreasonable to draw the conclusion that what we're seeing is um, it can be taken at face value because there's there's something else behind the face. I mean, there's there's something else deciding why these things happen. You can't just say a particle decides to do something. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. So something's happening between these, <clears throat> you know, this this in this experiment where there is somehow a memory that allows particles to retain um, a wave function or that a wave function is retained in the space around them that is not that that <clears throat> okay look look at it this way so like the difference between our conscious and our subconscious I mean there's a subconscious that we're not aware of that's doing the work and so what if in space there is there is a a change in disposition of the space that isn't recognizable, that has no, that has no impact that can be experienced by anything but this very small particles. 
And so from our perspective, there's nothing, but from their perspective, there is something. I'm just confusing myself now. Um, so anyway, yeah, I didn't focus this video very well, so, but that's good because it's really not for anybody else but who's people who care about this shit and want to go to the trouble to analyze some of this stuff, which I sort of don't want to do. I mean, I'm really not interested in doing this shit, but apparently we have to do this shit because until we do this shit, people are going to cling to this stupid bullshit and say this proves something. This is like their missing link of, of crapola. And now, well, we see, look, we have something we can't explain, therefore the universe is blah, blah, and they can just make up whatever the fuck they want. And uh, so this this is this this ex this two slit experiment has got to go down. Somebody's got to beat it up, and they got to you know they got to explain what's happening and uh, quit giving people the opportunity to invent 17 dimensions of bullshit to explain it. So anyway, that's my objective. So if you can make a video, great. Um, if I blocked you or something, well then comment on one of my comments somewhere else. Go to my channel page, see where I've commented, and ask to be unblocked. Okay, it's not my fault you got blocked. You probably got blocked for a damn good reason. Um, but anyway, uh, I'll just make your damn video and you know put in them in the tag somewhere. I'll see the video and then I can unblock you and then you can you know link your video. But um, anyway, I just want to talk about the experiment itself, um, not uh, the phantasmagorical interpretations, the realistic human error. Oh, we fucking misinterpreted explanations. 